I was waiting for you with this. Dear Miss Herman, it gives me great pleasure to welcome you as our newest sponsor and to introduce you to Josephine from Uganda. For the past two years, my wife and I have been sending 12 pounds a month to a little girl in Uganda. She's very pretty, isn't she? Justine and Mango loved opening letters and chatting about Josephine. To me, the glossy leaflets with smiley African children look like all the other junk mail we got in the post. She sends us a letter. Yes, this is Josephine's letter. Dear Miss Herman, I am writing on behalf of Josephine because she is still young to write well. Thank you for... I know it's pretty cynical, but I can't help thinking there's someone writing dozens of children's letters. <laughs> I'm not assuming guys in London are scammers trying to get money off us. What I'm questioning is how efficiently is the money used? How can they make sure that people there aren't like pocketing the money? I have the feeling of that this is actually genuine and there is a little girl behind the whole thing. Would you like to visit Josephine? Yeah. If we were to fly from there where we live, there, to where Josephine is this long. That's Africa. Africa. A year later, Mango and I were on a plane to Uganda to find Josephine and see what difference our money was making to her family. The letter spoke of songs, school, and happy family. But I wanted to see for myself what their lives were really like. Have you never been to Africa? I'd never been to Africa before. I've never been to Africa It's, you know, it's, it's what we've been doing for almost a year. We've been like working towards coming and meeting Josephine in person. So you should be happy and excited, yeah? Oh, so close. <laughs> Hello. Mango. Mango. Eh, don't mind you. I'm going to go in. Tommy. 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 Uh-huh. Mango daddy. Mango daddy. Are you Mary? I was overwhelmed by their warm welcome. And despite the language barrier, Josephine and Mango became instant best friends. Free cross sitting on a wall on a cold and frosty morning. The money we sent didn't go directly to the family, but was invested in projects that would benefit the community, such as schools and clean water pumps. I felt pleased to see our little donations were making a difference to people's lives. I really wanted you to eat the porridge like the kids here. Because that's what they eat every day at school. The problem is you ended up getting them to buy you food that's different from what they're having when they wouldn't buy that food for themselves. Say, Wabaleño Sebo. Wabaleño Sebo. Kaleñabo. Even back in Scotland, trying to get Mango not to leave the tap on, she'd been excited by the prospect of getting water out of a borehole. Uh 
My daughters. I'm getting tired. You are tired? Yeah. Um, <laughs> wait a sec. <laughs> Mango, you are tired? Manga, koyo, you move now, now, Guyango. I'll call you. That's how I'm going. Take a couple of lunch. Good. Are these all family graves? Yeah. All your family? Yeah. That one died of TB. Tuberculosis, yeah? Yeah. That one is. The other one, my sister died of malaria, too. And these are children? They, they all die? They died. How? Malaria. Malaria. Okay, you see, these are graves where, uh, like, members That's of. graves. A grave is where a dead person is buried. Mm -hmm. Those are children. Yeah, that's why the graves are much smaller. This was his big brother. That was his sister. sister. My brother again. And his other brother. You still got your mom and your dad. Yeah. Too. Yeah. And your children. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is a simple answer. Yeah. My but next, my sister. Your next sister, me. Yeah. She got polio when he was young. He doesn't speak, but she hears yeah. and she understands. Hello, Christine. It's very nice to meet you. Mm -hmm. And we came from a very long way away, from very far away. Why is he lying in bed? She has a illness. Oh, no. She has an illness called polio. She mm. cannot walk. Yeah. She cannot touch. Yeah. Mm. I wanted to spend time alone with Joseph, so I followed him to work in a village 10 kilometers away. So you're walking here for an hour and a half just so that you don't have to pay like one dollar to Boda Boda yeah. to take you at the motorbike. If you took the Boda Boda every day you come to work, you would not make any money. No money. No money you would spend more no. No. than you're earning. After hearing about Joseph's struggles, I felt I had to do something. I knew the bike would help Joseph, but I also felt this gift did nothing to change the system that had caused their poverty. You need to really take care of this, eh? We had hoped that by sponsoring a child in Africa, we were doing something to make sure Mango's children wouldn't have to sponsor Josephine's. I realized charity can only do so much to fight the symptoms of poverty. But as we left, I couldn't help wonder, are we doing enough to eliminate its causes? That's it, Mango.